we have uh, two dominant sensors here, as you can see. One is a thermal cameras. You know, thermal cameras is a kind of a specialized sem um, sensor which can see through the smoke, and because you know it's operating in a very different kind of a wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. So unlike RGB cameras or normal cameras we used on our smartphones, this camera can see through smoke. a cutting edge kind of deep learning based method to interpret this kind of a multimodal sensory data and automatically extract the victim's locations and estimate the firefighters locations to give them. Not only we give this kind of prediction results to the frontline firefighters, we also transmit these results to the outside chief commanders. Then the chief commanders can use this very informative like uh, information to make a more effective collaboration uh, comments to the insiders. It doesn't affect any performance. Uh, very lightweight in terms of the equipment on the helmet um, compared to what we currently use in terms of a handheld thermogen imaging camera. Um, with a handheld, it obviously takes away our use of one one limb, really. Um, so to have this integrated within either a visor or a helmet would be a massive advantage. There's a real-world problem which has a safety aspect to it, a big safety aspect to it, both for those in the emergency situation and also for the firefighters. And the use of the technology to enhance the image recognition and speed up the uh, recovery of people who are uh, you know, trapped in a house or a building in a fire means that one, they get rescued more often and two, that the firefighters are not in danger quite as long.